Hi everyone, Animal Girl here, back with another of my comparison videos. Now, for those of you who are unaware, last Friday, February the 2nd, was the 93rd anniversary of the, of the 1925 serum run from Nanana to Gnome. During this incredible relay endeavor to bring much needed antitoxin from Nanana to the tiny town of Nome, Alaska, which was in the grips of a diphtheria outbreak. Many mushers and their teams of dog made the heroic journey. But one stands out as because stands out as he is the dog that act or the lead dog that actually brought the antitoxin in to Gnome. And that dog is Balto. Now, a movie was made back in the 1990s, and I forget the exact date or the exact year, that was loosely based on this endeavor, on this incredible story. Um, now, there were some inconsistencies within the movie, and that is what we are going to be comparing in this video. Balto, the movie, versus Balto, the real-life hero. Um, now, you have to understand that they did say based on true events. They never said inspired by a true story. So, um, that does kind of get them off the hook of people saying, well, wait a minute, there are a couple inconsistencies here. Um, I did do a special edition movie talk video on Balto that I did post on the February 2nd, um, so feel free to check that out, um, where I actually reviewed the movie. Um, but again, there were some inconsistencies, and I will be touching on them in this um, video. Okay, now there really were three big inconsistencies between the movie and the and what happened in real life. First off, in the movie, Balto was half dog and half wolf. In real life, Balto was a purebred Siberian husky and he was trained as a sled dog. In the movie, Balto wasn't trained to be anything. He just kind of instinctively knew how to be a sled dog. Um, also, in the movie, it was one dog team that traveled from Nome to Nanana to pick up the antitoxin and then traveled back to Nome. Now, in real life, there were more than 20 teams, and they didn't travel from Nome to Nanana and then back to Nome. They actually started the relay in Nanana and then relayed the antitoxin all the way to Nome. And there actually is another famous and heroic dog that was in the relay, and his name is Togo. And a lot of people feel that he needs to have some of the credit as well. Now, from what I was able to gather on him, he was actually retired at the time of the relay, and his owner brought him out of retirement to run this relay, and he was a lead dog too, like Balto, um, and he also ran the longest, he and his team ran the longest stretch of the trail, which, um, just fun fact, um, the trail that they ran back in um, 2025 is actually the same route for the Iditarod dog race. Um, so those of you who are um, sled dog enthusiasts and have either run the Iditarod or watched the Iditarod dog race, um, that's the same route. Um, so a lot of people actually felt that he deserves some credit too. And actually all the dogs deserve some credit. But Balto actually got the credit because he was the one who actually led the team that brought it in. And a lot of people are a little miffed about that because it wasn't just the one team, it was multiple teams. Um, the final inconsistency within this movie was that, between the movie and real life, was that in the movie, Balto was a stray dog who just kind of wandered around the town of Nome, and nobody really liked him except for his 
um, f four friends, um, a goose named Boris, two polar bears by the name of Muck and Luck, and a female sled dog, or a female husky by the name of Jenna, who is actually Balto's love interest in the movie. Now, in real life, Balto was actually owned by a Norwegian musher, and I'm not going to try and pronounce his name, but it is right there on the screen. Um, and really, the events of the movie, other than those three inconsistencies, were in, or the events of real life, other than those three inconsistencies, were portrayed in the movie. Um, there was a storm, um, but the team did not get lost. Um, there was a diphtheria outbreak in Nome that caused many children and possibly many adults to be quarantined to try to prevent the spreading. And diphtheria is very deadly if it's not treated. Now, don't ask me to go into the science of what diphtheria is because I am not a medical professional, so I really can't get into it. I really don't understand it myself. Now, for more information on Balto, Togo, the 1925 serum run, the other teams and the mushers who participated in the 1925 serum run, and diphtheria itself, please visit your local library or Wikipedia. Okay, there is one, move, one video that is related to this one. Uh, I did mention it at the beginning of this video, and that is my movie talk video on Balto, which was a special edition um, for the actual anniversary of that of this serum run. Now, feel free to leave your comments and questions in the comment section. Also, please like and subscribe if you are watching this video on YouTube, or like and share if you are watching this video on Facebook. Also, feel free to follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, and DeviantArt. I do have my name for those four sites right there on the screen, as well as the pictures I use for the icons. Please note that all pictures seen within this video belong to their respective artists. I own absolutely nothing. Okay, quick reminder on my comment rolls. Okay, feel free to check out my other comparison videos, and there's really just the one. Also, feel free to check out my other videos. Okay, and before I sign off, um, two things I'd like to touch on. First off, please note that my movie talk birthday special edition video on The Lion King and my movie talk videos on Van Helsing, Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters, and Spooky Buddies are exclusively on my Facebook page. I am doing remakes, or I will do re-uploads of those videos, but they will not be posted on to YouTube until October. Reason being... The Lion King is a birthday special edition video, so for me, it only makes sense to actually post it, the re-upload, on my birthday, which is in October. Now, Van Helsing and Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters are Halloween-ish movies, and Spooky Buddies is a Halloween movie. So, again, it only makes sense to me to post those re-uploaded, or re-upload those videos in October. Until then, you can check them out on my Facebook page, and I will have the link in the description section. 
Also, due to the fact that for whatever reason YouTube is considering them to be spam, my TV Talk videos are now exclusively on my Facebook page. Um, if you would like to check out the newer videos, as um, the older ones are on YouTube, feel free. And to make it a little easier for you guys to find them, here are a list of the TV shows I have either done TV Talk videos on or I'm currently doing TV Talk videos on. Um, please note that all of Dragon's Riders, all my TV Talk videos on Dragon's Riders of Burke are on Facebook. And all my videos on Agent Sh of Shield and Avatar The Last Airbender, which I forgot to put on here, um, are on Facebook. Now, as for the older videos of Defenders of Burke, Big O, Star Wars The Clone Wars, Agent Carter, Touched by an Angel, and Walker Texas Ranger, those are, or at least the older videos, are on YouTube. And as for Game of Thrones, the first video is on YouTube. The rest are all on Facebook. And I apologize for accidentally omitting um, Avatar The Last Airbender from this list. As always, thank you for watching and have a very nice day.